Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today we are looking at the new Polly Pocket Talent Show Compact. This was the last of the sets that I found at my local Target. So here it is. This is a really big set. It looks really different from anything else we've been seeing from Polly Pocket recently. It's a big purple star. We have like sparkles and shines and hearts all over it. A big rainbow handle here with shines and hearts and music notes and a big golden star here. We also have this huge logo on the front. This is just a sticker. This is very different from most of the compacts we've seen lately. It is specifying that it is starring Shawnee, letting another character take center stage instead of Polly, which is honestly a really nice change. This is in a series of compacts that are all starring Shawnee, and this is the last of the ones I have to show you guys. So yeah, it's very large, very big, and you see on the bottom here, it takes batteries. That's because this set lights up. Because it is such a big set, we get another closure that twists instead of the snap closure. So when you open it up, I mean, it is huge. It's quite impressive. There's not a whole lot going on inside of it for how big it is. Most of the play comes from accessories, but starting here at the top really is just a massive stage. You see the pink curtains. It's all pink behind except for the silver hearts and shines and the speakers. If you get up close, you can see here through the clear plastic here is where all the lights would shine through. We also have a couple of little balconies here and we can see some curtains in the back on either side of the stage. The image on the back of the stage is pretty impressive. It's really cool. It's like this really shimmery, it says Polly and you can see like a cityscape in the background. In front, we see a lot of these areas here. This is where some of the accessories will sit in here. We also have a spinning stage. We have one peg where someone can stand and they can twirl on stage. We also have a peg on either side of this blue spinning platform. Down here is just another area for an accessory. We have some steps leading down to the lower part of the compact. And here we have a pink heart and this is the button for the lights. So if we press this pink heart, the lights turn on. And there's actually a couple of different modes. This is one mode. Here's another. And another, another, and lastly, the lights just stay on. The lights do time out after a little while, which I get they don't want to waste the batteries, but honestly, I just wish the lights would stay on until you turn them off because it gets kind of frustrating having them time out while you're playing because obviously you want the lights on, and like as you see, they just turned off. <laughs> So that's really the entire top area of the compact for the lower portion. We just have a continuation of the stage here with three pegs. We see some instruments, flowers. To the left and right, we have seats where characters can sit. And again, we have some areas here for more accessories. And all down the middle of the lower part of the compact, we have four golden stars. One says Shawnee, one says Polly, one says Lila, and one is blank. Over over here we have a little concession stand. It looks pretty cute. We can see ice cream, popcorn, hot dogs, and someone can stand back here. There are no pegs behind the concession stand for a character to stand. It seems like it would have been smart to put a peg back here so they could stand securely. The floor is really cute. You see a bunch of spilled food, popcorn everywhere tickets very cute on the other side we get a, another peg and here's like a dressing area kind of a funny spot because it's right at the front of the theater but anyway we get this blow dryer that lifts up and goes down we also get a chair that moves side to side we see some things on the table there some scissors a brush a blow dryer all the things you would need to get ready for a talent show here at the front of the compact we have a big swing door this is actually Actually supposed to be the ticket booth. I don't know if you would stand here and sell tickets or if you are meant to swing it 
to the side and there would be your ticket booth. I suppose you could do it either way, whatever suits your fancy. So now that we have looked at the compact, let's go ahead and look at the accessories. So first we get these three stars, each have a hole on the bottom for fitting onto pegs. They also have these slots on the top, which we saw in the compact, that is for putting some accessories in. We also get a couple of butterfly wings for our characters to wear, one blue, one yellow. We have an orange mannequin and a light purpley pink flower crown. We get a box of popcorn that a character can hold or it can go on a peg and a little bouquet of flowers which can also fit on a peg. We get a purple vanity if we flip it around to the back we can see some extra accessories like a purse, perfume bottles. We get a silver camera on a tripod. We get a moon swing which can fit onto a peg on the wall of the set. We get a purple drum set, a pink microphone on a stand with a speaker, an orange piano, and a yellow rubbery guitar which can hang over the shoulders of a character. We get an orange sitting down cat, not sure what this cat is doing in a theater, but maybe it's in the talent show. And we get three characters, Shawnee, Lila, and Polly. We also get this cardboard scene, which is reversible. We have a red carpet scene here, and on the back we have a nighttime scene. We see a swan in the water and a gazebo and shooting stars. This is very pretty. This goes behind the stage so that you can change it depending on whatever show you want to put on so that it will help you set the scene. The next accessories I'm going to show you is what kind of disappoints me about this set. For being such a big set and coming with so many accessories, a lot of cardboard pieces came with it. This set cost $30, which is a lot for a compact like this, in my opinion. So to have so many cardboard pieces that are so important to the play is really disappointing. We get all of these pieces, which all came on a cardboard sheet that you have to pop out yourself. Just gonna try to quickly go through all of these. I'm not entirely sure what these are called, but we have this little row clouds, shooting star, a camera, another rope, rainbow on clouds, the theater masks, I don't remember what they're called, but you know, with the one happy mask and the one sad, balloons, a rabbit in a hat, more clouds, a poster maybe of a microphone, a unicorn, this poster of a mermaid and a fairy. I think you're supposed to pop out their faces because I think this is supposed to be like one of those things where you would put the characters behind it and it would look like, you know, that they were the characters. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I I haven't done it yet. A castle, a DJ area, glasses, a swan, a director's chair, the teeniest tiniest chocolate bar, a tiny little hamburger, a tiny little drink, an itty bitty slice of pizza, two tiny little tickets, itty bitty popcorn, microscopic hot dog. I can't remember what this is called, but one of those little clip scene things that they, uh, you know, t t cut and whatever, scene, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And a golden cup trophy. So yeah, tons and tons of cardboard pieces that would inevitably get bent up, ripped up, and totally destroyed if you played with them enough, which would take away a lot of the play value in this set. Because a lot of these pieces are necessary to really set up this play set. So that's why I'm pretty disappointed. I don't really know what I should do with these. I thought about maybe laminating them or putting tape on them just to make them a little bit more rigid and durable, but I haven't done that yet because I wanted to show them to you guys as they are first. So there you go guys, there's the new Polly Pocket Talent Show Compact. What do you think of it? Do you think it's worth $30? I'm going to go ahead and say no, but if you're interested in getting this set, definitely check out Target's website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you are having the best day ever, and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.